Hello everybody, this is Andrew Isley. Thanks for tuning in to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the matrix pattern sequencer. Um, I've already created a Maelstrom and brought the PWM dr uh, drive base patch loaded onto it. Uh, I'm going to select the Maelstrom and we'll go up under create to the matrix pattern sequencer. I'm going to go ahead and hit tab and in the rear of the rack you'll find the matrix has cabled itself up to the maelstrom. Uh, you'll notice the note CV output is connected to the CV input and the gate CV output is routed to the gate input. Uh, this hails back to the days that were pre-MIDI. Uh, this is how we would sequence with a hardware sequencer and an analog uh, synthesizer. We would use these uh, control voltages. They send uh, electrical signals and the synthesizer would respond to them. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, here we can see the matrix interface. You'll see over here on the left, we have, just like on the redrum, we have uh, four banks of eight patterns, so 32 patterns all together we can use. Uh, over here is the sort of um, octave section, if you want to call it that. Uh, essentially, there's a one octave keyboard and we can switch between different octaves by moving the switch up and down so we have up to five octaves that we can we can work with uh, over here is the actual where you do the programming and on the far right side is the number of steps right now we're set at 16 but we can go up to 32 steps if we wish uh, we'll just keep it at 16 for right now and then we have resolution down below by default it's at 16th notes uh, but we have up to 128th notes or as little as a half note and you'll also notice there's a dedicated shuffle button, which ties in with the redrum in terms of adding a, a little bit of swing to a sequence, which is a lot of fun. So in this case, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click and drag across the bottom and get rid of all of those gate signals. Now the gate signals, like you'll only hear a sound if the gate signal is present. So if I hit play, you don't, you won't hear it. So I can move this up. So I can go ahead and drop in a couple more notes. interesting thing that we can do is tie notes together. I'm going to hit stop for a second. Now down here you'll see tie gate. If I engage this and I click on say two notes that are next to each other, it'll actually tie those notes together. So if we hit play, this is how you can get notes sort of sliding or you can have one continuous note. Also gives an interesting effect even if you're not tying notes together. It will lengthen the notes a little bit. Another thing you can do is copy the pattern just like we did before by hitting um, Command C and then selecting a new pattern destination and hitting Command V. Copies that same information over. And if you want, I mean, you can change up the resolution on this. And when we switch back and forth,
again, you kind of get the, the feeling for this. It's a lot of fun to program. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Another thing you can do with the matrix pattern sequencer, uh, it's not just about generating notes. You can also use it to generate control voltages to curl, control some aspect of uh, a different sound, uh, like on our synthesizer. So if I tab around to the back, you'll notice there is a curve CV output. So I'm going to route this curve CV output uh, to my modulation wheel, which is right here. So routing that curve into it, now I can engage the curve section, which is over here, and I can draw in some interesting curves. And if we hit play, So you get the idea. A lot of fun to play with. Uh, you can utilize the curves um, to program uh, anything, really. Uh, run it to different synthesizers. You can use one of the spider molts, like by grabbing the uh, the spider CV merger splitter. I can split that curve output and run it to several different synthesizers at the same time and uh, create some really interesting effects that way. So. That about wraps up uh, this tutorial on the matrix pattern sequencer. Let's take a look at the arpeggiate monophonic arpeggiator next.